Good afternoon, everyone. I hope that you all are doing well and that you are staying safe. Um, I know I haven't been on here and it seems like forever. Um, I promise you I'm trying to get better with that. Uh, anyway, the reason for this video is I wanted to press a heat transfer um, image onto a jean jacket. I saw this in it. Well, I actually already did one. Um, but I wanted to do this for a gift. Now, here's the transfer right here. And of course, you're, you might be able to see some of the designs right there. I think this is called Afro Beauty. Um, I purchased this from Handmade by Toya. And I'm going to put this on a crop denim jean jacket. Let me see if I can show you guys. This is a crop jacket. Sorry, my both of my cameramen are asleep. So this is just a crop jean jacket. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, her directions for her heat transfers are 325 degrees for seven seconds without um, Teflon sheets or transfer cover sheets or anything and then for another seven seconds um, Just to make sure it's completely adhered um, But y'all know I like to do whatever I want to do so um, So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna do an initial press. We're gonna press the jacket Basically what I'm doing is getting any wrinkles out of the jacket because you don't want any wrinkles um, Under the image and then to remove like any type of moisture or whatever that may be um, in the jacket and in just about every tutorial, every video I've ever watched, that's what they say to do. You know, to number one, remove the wrinkles and then number two, to remove any type of moisture that will be in there to kind of keep it from um, adhering. So this right here, um, you know, you have your two seams right here. I've seen people press transfers where they cover the seams. I'm kind of afraid to do that because if you press it too long, you'll have a seam in the middle of your image. So what I do is I get an image that will fit actually inside of the seams. That way you don't have to worry about that. Now with these transfers, you kind of got to look on the back to see where your guide is. Um, you know, like when you're working with vinyl, the carrier sheet's going to be clear so you can kind of see. But with transfers, it's a little bit different. There is no carrier sheet. So you kind of got to, you know, feel your way through it. So I'm going to try to get this about as straight as can be. Now, my heat transfer, my, um, I'm sorry, my heat press is on 323 degrees I press mine a little bit longer just to make sure they stick so I'm going to press that down uh, probably for seven or eight seconds this is a hot peel so what that means is you peel this off while it's hot I like to take a corner and peel kind of slow that way if something is not sticking you can go ahead and press again. And of course, because I want to record a video, this doesn't want to press. Um, I don't know why this is not doing right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a towel up under here to kind of help bring it up. And it may be because of the seams in the jacket. That will keep it from laying flat. So let's try this again. And that's one of the great things about live TV. <laughs> you get the mistakes and everything. Um, so we're going to try it for another seven seconds. I don't want to press it too much because then it... All right. So then it was the towel that I needed to put under there that kind of helped and I'm still peeling kind of slow um because it may not have pressed completely 
So now I'm going to press one more time to make sure it's adhering. Now, just like I said, according to her directions, you're not supposed to use a Teflon sheet, which I have under my heat press because I'm just terrified something is going to stick. So, um, and I've done it with my sheet before and I've never had any problem, but according to her directions, you don't use any Teflon sheets at all. You just press it like that and I, it just freaks me out because I'm like, these things cost and this jacket cost and I just don't want to mess nothing up. Now, I will say one thing I've noticed when I press the second time with the Teflon sheet, the transfer has a tendency to stick. Oh, I'm losing my back drop cover all cereal boxes over here my little storage it has a tendency to stick and I don't know why it does that and that's probably why she says not to um to use a Teflon sheet but here we go let me swing this around over here so you can get a better view of that jacket so here we go. I hope you guys can see. It's really cute too. So yeah, this is just something that I wanted to do as a gift uh, for a sweet little girl. Um, just to kind of to spruce the jacket up a little bit to keep it from being so plain. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you guys for watching my videos. Thank you guys for all of your wonderful comments. I do read the comments um, because I do get notifications. So thank you guys so much. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a huge thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you like it, leave comments and anything that you may suggest that I do, go ahead and drop that in the comment box. But you guys continue to stay safe, be blessed, and I will be back with another video soon. Thank you. Bye.